Thank you for joining us on this historic day for St. Paul. Today, we officially put into service Minnesota's first electric fire engine, an achievement that aligns with our city's dedication to a cleaner, healthier, and more sustainable future. We're also proud to have partnered with Rosenbauer, an organization dedicated to safety and innovation in fire safety equipment and firefighting technology. Their support has been crucial in bringing this engine to life, and they share our commitment to advancing public safety in ways that reflect the evolving needs of our community. This electric engine is more than just state-of-the-art technology. It embodies our commitment to explore new, effective ways to deliver public safety for the people of St. Paul. With this step forward, we're reaffirming our promise to keep innovation and the community at the heart of our mission. I want to acknowledge our firefighters and mechanics who, whose expertise, adaptability, and dedication allow us to make this vision a reality. Their hard work ensures that this engine will serve our community with the highest standards of safety and reliability. As we cut the ribbon today, we celebrate more than just putting a new fire engine in service. We're going to also celebrate the shared vision of progress for and commitment to putting St. Paul's residents and their safety first. Thank you for being here this morning to share this moment and together, let's continue to lead the way in public safety and innovation. Thank you. We get an opportunity to celebrate uh, putting a new fire truck, adding a fire truck to our service in St. Paul to protect St. Paul residents and putting one in service that protects not only our residents, but also protects our firefighters. That's important to us. I'll tell you, this thing does a whole lot of things, but two of my favorite things about it are two things that it doesn't do. Listen, it's on. If one of our uh, diesel rigs was on right now, we wouldn't be able to have this conversation. We wouldn't be able to hear each other talk. And that's, more, that, that, that's not just a matter of press conferences. That's a matter of communicating on site. That's a matter of uh, our, protecting our firefighters hearing and things like that. My one of my favorite things about this truck uh, is, you see that um, uh, yellow exhaust pipe? Uh, that's to keep the diesel, that's to try to pump the diesel fuel, the diesel exhaust out of the fire station when the, when the rigs come on. We experience um, higher than normal rates of cancer among firefighters, something that we are really working on a state level, on a city level, on a federal level uh, to address and to try to make sure that we're protecting our firefighters. Where this is concerned, there's obviously none of that diesel exhaust going into the station. So like I said, two of my favorite things about the trigger, what it doesn't do, it doesn't make a whole bunch of noise and it doesn't fill our fire stations up with diesel exhaust. That's very important to me. I mean, it does so many things and creates so many um, um, and, and creates so many operational advantages uh, for our fire department. Uh, this this will help us to improve the level of service that we provide uh, to our fire to, to our both our community and for our firefighters. So, to all the men and women of our St. Paul Fire Department in the uh, house today, thank you so much for your service. Uh, and with that, I think I get to do one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do as mayor. Um, and so, may I please have a radio? Dispatch, this is St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter. Mayor Carter, go ahead. We are officially putting Minnesota's first electric fire rig into service. Copy engine, engine 7 is in service at 919. Engine 7 is officially in service. Minnesota's first electric fire engine is now in service. Congratulations, St. Paul. Congratulations, St. Paul. 